Yes, it is. So what we're doing is we have everybody come and look at all the process of all the things. Look at these countertops that you saw us put together. The countertops, the, the panels, everything involved with this thing. It's an absolute win-win for any of the contractors. We even decorated it all up. We have our Coyote products. We have the Komodo Jello. We have the here. Uh, the Darren Schmidt in here makes these for us. Place, the tops, everything is done right here. We brought this in bags, a few panels and some bags, made them on the ground, and we have all this right here. This was on a bag, and then we made the bag mix on the ground, as you saw, and here we have countertops all within hours. is it on the blazing beats it's surrounded by our cliff rock product and the product is absolutely amazing right there with the fire and the water this is a hit baby come on we have the water, water here all panel system no rebar bag next even the pond is all made in here so everything we made was right here uh, the fireplace over here Fireproof porcelain insides over here, so the box we don't have to do any insert boxes anymore. There's the hood, which takes care of the rest of that, and it's absolutely amazing. Get the whole fireplace. Let's go look at the rest of the show and see if it even compares. Okay, so this is GIE. The GIE is the best. It's like the biggest hardscape show around. So let's come around and look and see. Uh, a lot of people are selling, uh, you know, mowers and things like that, uh, synthetic grass, uh, rock. Yes. Like turkey. I don't know where they're from. This is real rock type of stuff here, as you can see. The marble, you know, stones. We have uh, all blue stone. A lot of guys use blue stone. They like this for patios and stuff like that. A lot of patio mixes and stuff like that. We have uh, uh, water gardening products. You know, you have, you've heard of hype. All the different uh, uh, water products. This one here. You guys tell us about your product. Sure. Good, good. They saw you. Oh, you're over. I'm with Cliff Rock and Stone Good. Cool. Nice to meet you. So tell us about what you got. No water feature. Uh, and you see we do water features. Yeah, I see. You're doing better than anybody. I saw that. It's pretty awesome. It's really impressive. Fire thing? Yeah. Oh. Is that done by uh, uh, air? Uh, uh, if I told you, I'd have to, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's uh, vibrations and beats on the balance and balance. So tell us about your pumps and why you guys are here and you need to Why should people should Yeah, I hope you guys get way bigger than us. <laughs> natural. It's a natural. Using plastic products. How natural is that? I don't see that in the But you got to use that to give you natural effect, right? Absolutely. Same with our rocks. Filtration. That's right. All we're taking what God gave us naturally and naturally putting it back together. Absolutely. See you guys. I told him, David. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, tell us about what you've got here. Uh, it's a uh, electronic condition uh, fire feature. Our uh, burner. HPCfire.com, guys, okay, so don't forget about that. It's a good product to use inside our products. Okay, so, you know, it has fire, you can put water inside there, so it's... Uh, we have, uh, this, is, this system here is just a fully fire system, mm -hmm. but we do have a fire and water feature uh, that has a big 52-inch basin self-contained system. Uh, uh, Game set up for a drill. Uh, it's pretty cool, huh? So you can actually set it all up like this, and then... Uh, Put your, you got to put your boards and you got to put your veneer and everything on it. And so, uh, when something like this runs, so look at that. That is amazing. What does this run, the substrate? What does this substrate run? Oh, it's $92. So, like something like this. 
about eleven hundred dollars. Wow, that's pretty good. Including the high bar. So that's including everything. You do a little turn over. So eleven hundred dollars for the substrate on this is awesome. Pretty nice. All right. Can you put anything into it? Veneer on it. Really, I was just going over to get a price so we could see the difference between our product and theirs. They're looking at me like, what the hell do you want? <laughs> so, uh, this is cool. This is a uh, uh, LED lighting. And I got some stuff. There's a bunch of LED lighting companies around. This is this one. Really cool. So, a lot of contractors just bid. I try to just sell. Sure. Not really. Man, that's great. You can mic. We'll be in touch. Okay, all right. Good, good stuff. Let's keep on going. Oh, look at that. Look at that curve. Is that cool or what? Now, that is, that's what we come to shows like this because you see all kinds of really impressive stuff like that. That, that is amazing. Let's go get a brochure. We already have a part of the guy, but. That is awesome. Oh, okay. There you go. Steps. I guess they have a thing called Rock Step now. Probably pretty affordable, but uh, it's a good idea. Let's keep up. We can make those ourselves with concrete. A lot easier than that, I think. I can do the whole thing. So. Flooring is just uh, pretty amazing. Yeah, very unique, very unique. And something like this. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah, yeah this is, look at that. They kind of just decorated it all up. Isn't that pretty? Oh, is that what it is? Kind of way you want it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Look at that, it's for you, Jay. That's my cameraman. You got to run away. All right. put the camera down to eat. All right, Mark, here's to you. Yeah, Oh, my. Dude. They make their own sauces and rubs, too. Let's get out of here. Apple barbecue sauce? Yep. Here, let me try that. Uh-oh. We're getting it on. There you go, Mark. Uh oh, a little dipping sauce. Yeah, that's a. You can either put that on that, or you put on. That's really good on the ribs, actually. I bet it's good on that. Oh, it's good on that. Stop. <laughs> Is that great? Okay. 
<laughs> we'll get some lift going home no matter what. These are these are seven bucks a pop. I think I've got. I don't know if I have any left or not. You have got to be clear, you got to try that ball. Mm -hmm. Everything in the hardscape business you can think about, and that's what we're about. So let's come back over and see what's going on over here. Back at the, uh, oh look. I got a little Beach Boys going on? Stop it. with the hoods, right? They had a problem with the different hoods and stuff like that. But he's kind of changed that whole thing. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, with these, uh, these hoods, they have the ability to contain the gases for the fireplace, obviously. Right. You know, we're hiding the, the ugliness. Well, that on a framed uh, application can cause a fire. Um, I've been active with this for 24 years since I started Chimney King. Uh, I have written one building code. Um, uh, helping out on this. Um, and uh, right now, the building codes have really gotten serious about chimney caps, and which is right in flow with, with what we're doing. Uh, so it's nice timing. But these now are required to have a UL listing if you're working with prefab round metal pipes, and if you're working with masonry. Then the main thing to worry about is drainage, making sure that everything is finished off. We actually make a secondary product besides the chimney caps, which is a chase top enhancer, which comes out comes down and goes, works its way back and has a chase span built into it. Awesome. Now that's awesome. That technology is perfect, especially doing an outdoor kitchen. You want to be safe. You want to make sure that your products are something you can stand behind. You know, this is good. We got the, we got the horseman boxes. Now we got this right here. It's a marriage made in heaven. It's, just right here. it's a complete package. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it, it does not exist for otherwise. That was awesome. So, Derek, thank you, brother. We look forward to all the chimney tops we're going to be putting in. Hundreds and thousands of them. All right, man? This is my new PR guy. That's it. <laughs> the show, GIE, and uh, we have the amazing guy, Steve Knight, and Steve Knight is uh, with uh, the Coyote products, and I'll tell you what, it's been a door to our products, and we're excited to have him, he came in, he actually helped us, so not only did we set the whole thing up and go, we set it up, he just popped the stuff in, it was not like that, he was up at the hood here helping us cut this stuff, I mean, he was a wild man, so uh, we want to thank you, first of all, for that, Steve, tell us about how amazing the Coyote products are. You know, our entire line is 304 stainless steel. It's our boards, our side burners, or our grills, inside and out, all 304 standard, uh, great stainless steel. This is our two foot power burner, 60,000 BTUs. We got two controls, 30,000 BTUs on the inside, 30,000 on the outside. If you want that, this is our 36 inch built in grill that has two of our Denny burners on it, as well as the sear burner and the rear rotisserie burner, backlit LED knobs, all of our grills come standard with halogen lights built in to the grills. We've got a pull-out drawer here for a propane tank or a trash can. Double access doors for storage, as you can see. Can't have enough storage in your outdoor kitchen. This is done in one day. This is our refreshment center. We have inserts for your condiments for different drinks. A bar cap, double bottle opener, and a towel holder. This is our new pull-out ice chest. Which has backup storage for condiments. You can take this out and you have 3.8 cubic square feet of additional ice space you can store on it. The drains in the back will drain out of the bottom. 
Yeah. That's fire. my favorite, Steve. Yeah. That's your favorite? That's my deal right here, Rob. Eyes and the eyes. Oh, man, I'm, I'm all over this one here. Now, the final piece we have in this setup is our 4.1 cubic that two people are square foot in the outdoor refrigerator. Now, this is not like a can cooler you're going to find in a box store. This is outdoor rated, front vented, and you're allowed to hold meat, cheeses, and food outdoors. That's the difference between a can cooler and a true outdoor rated refrigerator. And that's what we have. We build products for the outdoor for the professional. That's it. That's and that's what this looks like. I mean, you look at this whole thing, and it's just, it just, man, it just clicks right up. Steve, thank you. Awesome new party, guys. Yeah. That looks great. Yes. You know, the lines are here. It's going to turn out really nice. So. It is. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. See you again. So here we are at the show, it's all over, we're all done here. It's going to hit about five minutes, I mean, it's going to break down. I tell you, every one of these units here, everybody has just fallen in love with them. And so, uh, as we finish up here, uh, we had a great show, we had a massive amount of uh, influx of people with interest into this incredible product. And so hopefully, you can contact us at cliffrock.com. You can also look at uh, all the different products that we have. And really, it's the medium. You can do great things with a great medium. If you have great creativity, or even a little bit of creativity, the medium, what we use, helps you and empowers you to take it to the next level. From everything from this, incredible outdoor kitchens, uh, to this amazing, blazing beef, which we love and everybody likes this, and of course our amazing waterfall. So, David Montoya, Cliff Rock, I'll see you in the next one.